All right, guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to go over a pretty entertaining article titled, Guys Should Always Pay for Dates Because Being a Woman is Expensive. And in this article, guys, big, big surprise, this is going to be the perspective of a woman who feels that men should be paying for all the dates and the restaurants and all that because, hey, it's expensive to be a woman. And she's going to list all her reasons. And guys, this is the exact opposite of what we've been used to lately that I've been talking about, where you have, on the other side of the spectrum, you have women of the uh, proud members of the you-know-what movement that want everything 50-50 and would literally, on a date, chop a guy's finger off with her steak knife if, God forbid, he suggested he pay for the bill. Okay? This is the opposite side where the sense of entitlement comes in. Okay? And I'd love to see an article one day where... It said basically, hey, how about option three? They pay for us because, hey, they should feel privileged to be out with us because we're a catch too, you know. But for today, it's the opposite side of what we've been used to where the woman saying, absolutely, guys should be paying because, again, it's so expensive and tough to be a woman. So she goes through her 10 reasons and the article starts off saying, some guys can get a little weird when it comes to footing the bill for a date. I know this may be a controversial opinion, but I think they should willingly pick up the tab considering it's way more expensive to be a woman. Number one, and guys, by the way, some of these reasons are absolutely ridiculous, but I'm doing it because it's pretty funny and we could use a good laugh before the weekend here. Uh, number one, women's razors and deodorants are 11% more expensive than men's. She's obviously starting out pretty desperate if she's got to give a percentage of how much razors are than men. But I'll go through it anyway. She says, I was shocked when I found, found this out, but it makes sense. If I had my own deodorant company, I'd charge women more because it's way more embarrassing to smell bad as a woman than a man. Embar excuse me, period. Women need deodorant, so charging us more makes sense from a business perspective. When men smell bad, it's kind of like a badge of honor, a really disgusting badge of honor. I know some women that actually like smelling the B.O. smell from a guy because it makes them feel masculine. They, 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 like, they like that masculine thing, you know. Some do. Number two, women's clothing is on average 40% more expensive than men's. Well, then go to a fucking sale, okay? Again, not surprising. The women's section is also way bigger than men's. In general, women care more about our appearance because, well, men care more about women's appearances. It's sad but true. So we're willing to spend hundreds of dollars on clothes and shoes just so guys approve of us. Whereas guys look, at, look to hot women in a white t-shirt they bought from Walmart. So unfair. Well, I have news for this lady and she obviously knows this because she's full of shit here. Most of the time, women dress up to compete with other women. That's what it boils down to. Now, yes, they know darn well that men are visual creatures and we're attracted to what we see. And obviously, their strategy by wearing that short dress or short skirt and doing their nails up, putting the makeup on, all, all going into battle, so to speak. But it's not all about guys. It's about them. They want to look better. They want to look hot for themselves and obviously to compete with other women. So let's not bullshit here. And besides... Women, any of you guys ever been married or live with a girlfriend know darn well how much fucking shoes they have that they might wear one time or a couple times and that's it. They're piling up in the closet or how much clothes they have, which by the way, oftentimes they buy and don't wear or maybe wear once. And next thing you know, five years later, it's going off to the Salvation Army. So come on here. They spend way more than they should or need to. It's well beyond trying to impress us. Bullshit. Uh, number three, we pay thousands more on essential products over our lifetime than men do. Again, tough shit. Another reason why men should pay. When you zoom out on the amount of money women spend on personal care products, it's exponentially higher than most men. All guys need is shaving cream, deodorant, a razor blade, soap, and maybe some body spray. Women can spend $50 on eyeshadow alone. If guys are okay with us not wearing makeup, having messy hair, and hairy legs, then by all means, let's split the bill. Sorry, sweetheart. Uh, number five. In general, we get paid less than men. 
bullshit, 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 and bullshit. And that's been proven to be, like I said, bullshit. The wage gap has been a popular topic of conversation for the last several years, and we've made some big steps towards equality. For example, in the state of California, it's now a rule that corporations need to have at least one woman on the board of directors. And that's an absurd rule. Okay, government has no business telling a corporation they need to have who, who, who they should have on their board of directors. It's ridiculous. Okay, it has nothing to do. It, it's, it's absolutely absurd. But we all know what kind of state California is. Okay, and it uh, literally in this day and age, because of censorship on here, I can't say the word, but it's almost to the point where it's a let's just say that's where Chairman Mao uh, came from or. Uh, Joey Stalin came from. That's the direction California is going, for God's sakes. But no fucking right to tell a business, hey, you got to have this person, this person on your board of directors. Uh uh. Little rant there, I had to say it. Um, that's progress. No, it's not. But there's still a sizable gap between how much women are paid compared to men. As of 2018, women in America got paid, on average, 80.5 cents for every dollar a man made. Until the wage gap is non-existent, men should be paying for dinner. Sorry. Well, number one, she's not sorry. Number two, it's bullshit. And you know I know it's bullshit? Because of the countless articles I've read about women complaining that there's no men, good men out there in terms of salaries and all that. Why? Because so many women are doing so well, they're higher up than a lot of guys. I mean, a lot. Higher education, higher position in jobs, bigger paychecks, and so forth. And also for the same type of work. So I don't want to hear this song and dance. It's been proven wrong many, many times. But it's very popular and convenient to use when somebody doesn't want to have to pay for things. Number six. We need to buy menstrual problems every damn month. Well, us guys need to buy earplugs every damn day to block out. So stop complaining. On top of the makeup, hair products, and expensive clothes... We also have to shell out about $10 per month on pads and tampons. $10, this is not 1947. $10 is not that a lot of money in this day and age. Come on here. This is something we need, and if we can't find these products on sale, we can be spending up to $15 on a box of tampons and a pack of pads. Again, if you had to do that, $15 isn't a lot of money. Stop complaining. Number seven, a woman's haircut is crazy expensive. Why is it that a haircut for a guy is like $20, but a woman's haircut is closer to $80? Because most guys have short hair. It's not a whole lot of work. I'm in and out in 10 minutes when they buzz my head, buzz the sides, a little cut at the top, like that. That's why. I got a deal recently on Groupon for a $50 haircut, and I got all giddy because it felt like a really good deal. Again, People who own salons know that women are more likely to care about their our appearance and come in for regular haircuts. So, of course, they're going to charge more because it takes longer. A guy can have a quick uh, $20 haircut or whatever because he's going to be out in 10 minutes. No big deal. Volume deal. But for a woman to have her work, work done on her hair, and her hair generally is much longer, it's more time consuming. Duh. It's, it's not too hard to figure out. Number eight, there's pressure for us to always be well-groomed and perfect looking. Yes, and so don't complain about that unless you're trying to attract Chewbacca. Guys want a beautiful, good-looking, hairless, on all the other parts, woman who takes care of herself because we are visual creatures. We're attracted to what we see. Okay, that's how it is. Blame Mother Nature if you don't like what you hear. She says... Maybe we, we wouldn't, maybe we wouldn't be spending all this money on personal care, products, and clothes if we didn't see billboards of picture-perfect women everywhere. We've been taught from a young age that a big part of our worth lies in our looks. Luckily, that's changing. No, it's not. But it will take a while until people start accepting that women don't need to look like Barbie dolls in order to have value. Well, okay, they can have value in terms of, let's just say, on their job, they are good at what they job, whatever it happens to be. It requires the skills that they've learned and worked to gain over the years. But in terms of attracting a mate, attracting, I know this sounds like I'm 
being caveman here. In terms of attracting a guy, if that's what they want, you got to take care of yourself. It doesn't make a difference how intelligent a woman is, how funny she is, um, all that, her, her degrees, how much money she makes. If she is not physically attractive, the guys aren't going to be interested, period. That's it. I know it's the ugly truth. I know a lot of, I get women that watch this. They may not like hearing what I have to say, but I'm being honest with you. I'm not trying to be an asshole. It's the truth. The same way that you could have a guy that has a lot of good things going for him, but if he's broke and living at home with his parents, or if he has a low level job and doesn't bring much, even though she may like his personality and be attracted to his looks, that guy's not going to have much of a future with her. So don't complain. That's just how it is. Number 10. This Number 10 connects with number 9. Men are more judgmental about appearance than women are. That's how nature designed us to be. Blame nature. Don't blame me. Men are always saying that they're visual creatures. I just said that. Well, if they're going to be that way, they can't complain when they have to pick up the check. We spend hundreds of dollars looking good for guys because the powers that be have set it up to be set it up that our beauty routine is an expensive one. Well, a lot of women are actually the ones that design these products, market them, and run a lot of these companies. Bitch to them. All they had to do was wash their face, trim their beard, and put on deodorant. Again, like I, like I said before. We're attracted to what we see, okay? End of story. That's how it is. And again, if you don't like that, for women that are watching this or women that watch this later on down the road, you know, unless you're trying to attract a blind man or you're trying to attract Wookiees, you better shave your legs. You better dress well. You better take care of yourself, okay? That's just, and yes, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Guys like different you know, what I may find attractive may be different than some other guy, but at the end of the day, if someone is morbidly obese, I mean, if a woman is morbidly obese and her hair's butched and all these other things, good luck finding a guy. You got to take care of yourself. And not to mention, it's healthier. And by the way, taking care of yourself physically and being in good health will cut down your cost since she's complaining about all this money she has to spend to maintain her appearance. Get a $10 membership at Planet Fitness, go there three days a week, do the cardio, lift weights, eat decent six days out of seven, and you'll be thin, you'll be healthy, and you'll spend a hell of a lot more money on healthcare costs if money is such an issue. And that's the perspective from a personal trainer. Last one, number 11. <laughs> women pay more for insurance than men do. Well, don't get me started on women drivers. This was kind of a surprising one. Not for me. I recently read that women pay more in mortgage rates than men because they tend to go with a recommended lender as opposed to choosing the lender at the lowest rate. Proudly recommended by a man. Ugh. Women also get charged for more for car insurance because the old adage goes, women can't drive. Well, with regards to that, and you got to have a sense of humor about these things, ladies. Come on here, but... I have, seen, have I seen guys that can't drive? Yes. Have I seen guys that drive like a bat out of hell? Yes. But you know what? The percentage of guys driving like a bat out of hell or driving, making foolish errors on the road compared to the ones that women I've seen is night and day. Okay. You know, it, it's really, there is something, a lot of the stereotypes and things like that, even though people don't want to hear it, usually come from the truth. There is a lot of truth to that. So if we're being honest here, I'm going to be real in this channel. I'm not going to bullshit you. So, but anyhow, guys, uh, I thought that'd be a pretty funny thing to share. I thought that was a good article. I was scrolling through this morning and I saw that. It gave me a good laugh. So, all right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.